we have a pretty long weekly math challenge. So let's read it carefully and try to decipher what the meaning of all of these numbers mean, all of these 2n and this product. Robert has a deck of 2n cards. Every card is labeled with an integer at the center. For every integer between 1 and n inclusive, he has two cards labeled with that integer, getting us n times 2 or 2n cards. Sylvia, a close friend of Robert, adds one card labeled 0 to Robert's deck. Robert randomly mixes up all of the 2n plus 1 cards and arranges them in a line. Let a sub n be the number of ways the card labeled 0 is located in between, but not necessarily touching a pair of cards labeled 2, in between a pair labeled 3, and up to in between a pair labeled n, while not located in between a pair of cards labeled 1. So we know we are going to have cards labeled 0, so we're go we know we're going to have cards labeled 0, and we're going to have bunch of cards to the left, bunch of cards to the right, and we know 0 has to be in between, 0 has to be in between a pair of cards labeled 2, so we know there's one card labeled 2 on the left side, and one card labeled 2 on the right side, and we don't know where the 2 is obviously, but we know 1 is at the left, and 1 is at the right. Also, we know the same applies for pair labeled 3 and up to in between a pair labeled n. So we know there is going to be a card labeled 3 on the side, card labeled 3 on the right side, and same all the way up, all the way up to some number, some integer n. So we know that's going to happen. And what else do we know? We know 0 cannot be located in between a pair of cards labeled 1. That's telling us that both of the cards labeled 1, the two cards labeled 1, either both of them go to the left side, so both of them go to the left side, or both of them are going to go to the right side of 0. So we know this is what's happening. And a sub n is the number of ways this can happen. This, this particular situation is going to happen is a sub n, the number of possible ways. So let's go down k is an integer between 43 and 2018 inclusive. For how many values of k is the product from n equals to 43 to k of a sub n over n factorial squared n integer? That's an interesting question. And before I go on, I want to recognize Benjamin Wang for being the very first person to correctly answer this challenge with the answer of 45. And we will strive to obtain the same answer. So let's go back to this picture, this beautifully drawn picture, and let's think about how many ways this arrangement can happen. How we have the cards labeled 2 to the n to the left and 2 to the n to the right of 0, and how we can have both of the ones to the left or both of the ones to the right of 0. So let's consider one case. Let's consider both of the ones being on the left. Let's consider this case. And obviously, by symmetry, whatever number of arrangements we get for this particular case should be the same as the number of arrangements we get when both of the ones are to the right. So we can simply find the number, assuming this, and multiply by 2. So what's the number given this? Well, we're going to have two cards labeled 1. And we have n minus 1 card. Here's n minus 1 card. And we have two more cards labeled 1. So we have n plus 1 card in total to the left. So we are assuming both of the ones are on the left side. So let's assume this. So when both of the ones are on the left side, we have n minus 1 plus 2 or n plus 1 card. So there's n plus 1 factorial ways of arranging them in a line. But we have to be careful because these two ones are indistinguishable. So we have to make sure we don't overcount the cases. Because we are counting the case with, let me write it like this, this one and this one. And this thing flipped. So the blue one on this side and green one on the right side as different cases. But remember, in the actual deck of cards, these are not colored differently and they look the same. So we should not 
count this case and this case as different things. So since we're double counting with n plus 1 factorial, we should divide this by 2. So that's number of arrangements to the left of 0. What's the number of arrangements to the right of 0? Well, to the right of 0, we're not going to have the ones, we are going to have just the n minus 1 cards. So to the right of 0, there's n minus 1 factorial. So we have to multiply this by n minus 1 factorial. So that's the number of cases when both ones are to the left of 0. And we have to multiply this thing by 2 to get our final answer, because both of the ones may be to the right of 0. When both of them are to the right, we should have the same number of cases. So we simply multiply by 2, getting us n minus 1 factorial times n plus 1 factorial as a sub n, as a sub n, the number of possible arrangements. Now we look at this product, the product from n equals to 43 to k, the product from n equals to 43 to k of a sub n over n factorial squared. This is our a sub n. And we're going to divide by n factorial squared, so n factorial, and another n factorial. And you can treat this as product from n equals to 43 to k of n factorial, n minus 1 factorial, I meant, divided by n factorial is simply 1 over n, and n plus 1 factorial divided by n factorial is going to be n plus 1. So we have, we have the product from n equals to 43 to k of n plus 1 over n. So what is this? When n is 43, we get 44 over 43. When n is 43, just plugging it in, and we're going to multiply, that's the product sign. When n is 44, we get 45 over 44. When n is 45, we get 46 over 45, and all the way until when n is k, k plus 1, over k, and it's pretty easy to see that this product is telescoping. All the intermediate values are canceling out. 44 and 44 cancel out, 45 and 45 cancel out, all the way to the k's canceling out. So in the end, we're going to have k plus 1 over 43. And what do we want this number to be? We want this number, we want this number to be an integer. So we want this thing to be an integer, given that k is in between 43 and 2018 inclusive. So let's go all the way back down. So we know k goes from 43 all the way to 2018. That's telling us that k plus 1 is going to go from 44 all the way, all the way to 2019. And we want this thing to be integer, and that's going to happen when k plus 1 is a multiple of 43. When we have multiple of 43 divided by 43, we should get an integer. So we want to find the number of multiples of 43 from 44 to 2019. So let's find it. So let's try dividing. Let's try dividing 2019 by 43. And 4, 172, 299 6 8 2 5 41 okay so we know there are 46 multiples of 43 so we know there's 46 of them from 1 to 2019 from 1 to 2019 but we are obviously not counting 43 so we got to take away one getting us 45 for the final answer so we know there are 45 multiples of 3 from 44 to 2019, and that's our answer for this weekly math challenge. So let's go all the way back up. So we know the answer to this question is 45.